Hello, my name is Mackenzie and welcome to Impressionism and Portraiture. We're going to start by talking about Giovanni Baldoni. Baldini was an Italian portrait painter known for his lively and dynamic style. His portraits often featured loose brush strokes and a semi-movement reflecting some impressionistic influences. Baldini was particularly skilled in capturing the elegance, energy, portraying the fashionable society of his time. His portraits are characterized by a sense of spontaneity and a focus on the atmosphere rather than strict realism. Now let's take a look at some of his paintings featuring the loose brush strokes he's known for. Boldini was influenced by both Impressionism and Post-Impressionism, incorporating elements of these movements into his work. Now let's take a look at Boldini's portrait of Lucy Gerard. Boldini, an Italian painter known for his elegant and dynamic style, captures the essence of Lucy Gerard with unparalleled grace. Lucy adorned in a lavish gown excuse confidence and sophistication. Boldini's loose brush strokes and vibrant palette convey a sense of movement as, as if Lucy is about to step out of the canvas. Boldini uses warm colored tones to capture her warm and elegant presence. The brush strokes he uses creates a sense of movement in this painting. He uses light and shadow to create depth and to create a three-dimensional effect. Boldini moved to Paris in 1871 where he became known for his portraits of high society individuals including aristocrats, actors, and famous personalities. His subjects often included fashionable women, society figures, and individuals associated with the culture elite. Imagine being in Paris in the 1920s, the atmosphere, the people, the culture. Artists were inspired everywhere they went. Don Gabriel Domenica was a French painter known for his glamorous and elegant depictions of women, often in fashionable and luxurious settings. While not a strict impressionist, his work exhibits a certain lightness and flair reminiscent of the era. Domenica's portraits often feature elongated and stylized figures, emphasizing a sense of sophistication and beauty. Domenica's work was often associated with the Art Deco movement, which emerged in the 1920s and celebrated modernity, luxury, and glamour. A stylized and decorative approach to portraying the female form in line with the principles of Art Deco. Domenica was appointed as the official portrait artist of the Cannes Film Festival in 1954. He created a series of portraits depicting notable personalities in the world of film and entertainment. While he is best known for his paintings, Domenica was a versatile artist who also worked as an illustrator, sculptor, and designer. In addition to his paintings of glamour women, he created theatrical costumes and design posters. Irma by Jean Gabriel Domergue. Irma, with her graceful posture and delicate features, embodies a timeless beauty. The soft flowing lines and Domenica's emphasis on light contribute to an ethereal atmosphere. It is, it is as if Irma is a symbol of timeless femininity, and Domenica's brush strokes delicately unveil the emotional depth of her. Domenica uses cool tones to further emphasize her beauty and sophistication. She uses accentuated lines to further enhance her beauty and create delicate features. He creates balance and symmetry using elongated features. The proportion is aesthetically distorted to create a sophisticated beauty. Domenica uses Impressionism in his portraits in order to enhance their beauty and their personality. This is super effective because as you can see in his portraits, their personalities are shining through and they feel like they're going to come out of the canvas. <laughs> James Tissot was a French painter and illustrator known for his depictions of Victorian life and society in both France and England. Tissot's work evolved over the course of his career, ranging from traditional academic painting to scenes of modern life and society. 
Molina developed a distinctive style that combined realism with elements of Impressionism. His early works were characterized by historical and biblical scenes painted with meticulous detail. Later in his career, Tissa shifted towards portraiture and scenes from modern life, incorporating looser brushstrokes and lighter palette. This is a perfect example of the high society woman to sit with paint. All the colors are cooler tones that represent winter. The woman in the painting has rosy cheeks and lips from the cold. The snow is a symbol of purity and tranquility. The artist created a stark contrast between the snow and his subject. The subject appears to be ahead of the tree behind him. Tissot's paintings are mainly realism with hints of impressionism, as you can see in his loose brush strokes. You can see his attention to detail within his subject, but the impressionist in the background. As we conclude our journey through the impressionist portraits of Giovanni Baldini, John Gabriel Domenge, and James Tissot, we find that each artist painted not only the physical attributes of their subjects, but also the emotions, aspirations, and spirit of their time. These masterpieces continue to resonate, inviting us to appreciate the timeless beauty and complexity encapsulated within the strokes of their brushes.